I really should not have a knife in my hand when I'm this stressed. What's that noise? Do not do this at home. You can do it too in 10 minutes. I give up. I just can't do this anymore. Hello my fine people and welcome back to another video. Today I am in my pyjamas, literally my pyjamas, because this is new merch. I created pyjamas for merch. Is anyone surprised? I'm not. <laughs> it's very on brand for me. And I do love me a good pyjama set. Like I have so many different... Anyway, this is a long story. Now I have my own. Whoa, we love that. I literally designed my own pyjamas. That's like another milestone moment for me. That is crazy. They do say you should create merch that you would wear. So that's, I took that too literally and now I've ended up with this, which I'm super happy with. Like look how cool and I love the colors and the design. If you too are excited about the It's Fine pajama set and would like your own, the link is in the description box. Definitely check that out. I'm obsessed with it. I slept in it last night, very comfy. I'm probably gonna be wearing this all the time now. I've got a bellyache. I ate spicy food all of yesterday and I just didn't think it through and now I am feeling the repercussions of it. So we love that for me. Basically, last night I was watching a bunch of Gordon Ramsay videos because I love that man. I was watching his like, he does these 10 minute recipe videos, which in theory means that it takes 10 minutes to cook the recipe. Whether it'll take me 10 minutes is a harder story, but I was thinking that doesn't seem too bad. And I came across one which was like a shrimp scampi pasta recipe. Granted, I was really hungry at the time, but I was like, you know what? I really want to make this. And I realized I don't really cook myself nice dinners much. Like I really don't. I don't know why I'm doing a cooking video because the other day I made a fried egg, one of the easiest and simple things you can do. And it turned out like this. I don't even know how. I don't even know how. I genuinely don't know how that happened. I was so shocked with my own standards. Even for me, I was like, I thought we were making progress in the cooking department, but clearly it's a work in progress. It's a great day, so I thought I'd bring you guys along with me. We'll do a little vloggy vlog. We'll cook some din dins and have a great fab fun fresh time in my pajama set, which could be yours too if you check out the link in the description box below. We also have phone cases, how cute is that? And my personal favorite, I don't know if you can see it in the shop, but see that shelf there? That's my mug shelf. I like to collect mugs. If you watch my second channel videos, you know about this, and every time I get a new mug to the collection, I share with you guys. So like, I don't know what you can see actually. Can you see? So we've got Mike Wazowski, we've got Mushu, classic. Got a pumpkin one, we've got a llama. Oh, this is a new one. Positivity. How cute. And now we have the latest addition to the mug collection. We've got... If it would focus. This is awkward. We've got the It's Fine mug. How stinking cute. This is the original It's Fine mug and we've gone for a spring update. This is a funky, colourful version. How cute. I'm obsessed. Also, I've got to mention the most important part of all. It has pockets. Ooh. Very unstable right now. Bit like me. I have come to Waitrose. Oh no, this is not gonna work, is it? Well, how's this gonna work then, bud? So I have come to Waitrose, which isn't my usual supermarket of choice, but I need to get something called Capellini, which is a specific type of spaghetti and I don't think they sell that in supermarkets to be honest with you but I'm gonna try my luck at Waitrose and see if they have it there because that's one of the ingredients um, and I thought I would be able to find most of the ingredients at Waitrose. So I'm now back home. I have all the ingredients laid out in front of me. I don't see how I'm gonna turn all of this into a decent meal in 10 minutes but that's what my man Gordon says, then that is what we shall get. This isn't gonna be a tutorial video because I am in no position to do that, but it's gonna be me following a tutorial. If you wanna see the tutorial, um, maybe if I remember, I'll put the link in the description box so you could try it at home too. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I'm kinda stressed. So I'm gonna have the tutorial, I'm gonna have Gordon screaming at me, no, he's not screaming, but he's gonna be telling me what to do with my ears. And then I'm gonna do it. So you guys are gonna, I'm gonna hear 
what to do and you guys are going to watch me struggle basically because um just listening to him stresses me out i get like i can i swear if you measured my heartbeat because gordon talks so fast i feel like when i watch his videos and all that my heart beat increases heart rate increases because he just stresses me out so much but in a good way i think okay so first thing you gotta do is boil the water as gordon is saying if you want to do this in 10 minutes a lot of it is in the prep so you got to make sure everything's ready and good to go so this so basically i gotta heat up the water i mean this in itself is taking 10 minutes jesus great the only one i need and it doesn't work my cooker doesn't work what a great way to start someone tell me why this one it's not working Already off to a rocky start. Is that foreshadowing? We shall see. With oil. Okay. And then you cut the shallots. Oh my god, this feels dangerous. Yeah. Okay. What's that noise? Can you hear that? Oh, the... What? I feel like this is not stable. Do not do this at home. Don't do as I do. Just watch hey it's working now okay so the whole thing was discombobulated but i fixed it now hey let's do it again shall we why is this one not working now oh now this one won't work give me strength honestly right we have fire let's start let's wait. i feel like i've already lost five minutes of this challenge already just turning my cooker off i really should not have a knife in my hand when i'm this stressed Oh, also, what are you in terms of how you like to receive information? Are you an audio? In which case, if you are, that's wild. Uh, are you visual or are you kinesthetic? Which is like, so for example, for a recipe, do you prefer having a book where you can read it and figure out how to do it? Which is, I can't do that. My brain does not compute that way. Do you prefer audio where just, just someone tells you? I also can't do that because for some reason my brain is broken and I don't deal well with... You know when you're driving and someone tells you the instructions of where to go? I just smile and nod, but I, I can't... I can barely follow the sat-nav and I'm a visual. Anyway, so I'm a visual or kinesthetic. I think kinesthetic is the one where they show you, right? I'm visual and kinesthetic, I think. So... I have watched the video two times already, so that's why I'm not too stressed, but it's me, so still very much stressed. Initially, the appeal was that it takes 10 minutes to make, but now, realising how stressed I am, I'd rather take my time, to be honest with you. Oh, there's an ad. There's an ad. Okay. I don't think I have time to watch the ad right now because I've got to watch the next step. It's one of those ads that you can't skip as well. That's annoying. It's, but don't skip my ones. Watch my ones all the way through. Now we're going to add my favourite ingredient, chilli flakes. This is me we're talking about, so we're going to put quite a bit in. You know what, the bellyache I had was because I ate spicy food yesterday. You'd think a girl would learn, but clearly I've forgotten about the bellyache this morning. And I'm putting a load of chilli flakes in. That's way too much. Ah, I'm going to put tomatoes in. Lovely. You can choose any stock according to him. I went for the vegetable. Ah, oh goodness. Making a right mess of this. Okay, he wasn't joking when he said it's all about the prep. This is gonna kill me a few minutes because I should have had the stock ready, but classic me forgot, so. He's going so fast. I can't keep up with him. I wonder how many people can actually follow his tutorial in real time. Like as he's doing the video, you're also cooking it at the same time. I failed that numerous times. I've gone back on this video like multiple times. Fifty. You did say that, right? You did say that. Four. Ah! Oh, I ripped the part that says it. Why did I do that? I had one job. Oh. Four hundred and fifty milliliters. Yeah. Okay. Great. And then I need half a cup of this. This feels like a weird way of doing things, but there we go. Oh God. It just looks so tragic. Everything's a mess, but it's fine. Put this. I don't know where to put that. 
Now we get our basil. Oh, smells nice. Okay, so you're gonna get your basil. And you're gonna roll it like that. That's not how he did it, but this is a beginner's. Then you gotta cut it. Okay, gotta put capers in. Capers, capers is done. <laughs> I have not got time to be struggling with a jar right now. This is so beyond 10 minutes, it's insane. Oh, geez. I give up. I actually can't do this anymore. Hey. Oh. I don't know if I want to put capers in, to be honest with you. I really don't want to do this. But it's too late. I've done it. Oh, another ad. What's with all these ads? I've got a tutorial to watch. Not ads. Oh, are you kidding me? There's two ads in a row. You've got to be having a laugh. Okay, sauce is done. I'm not gonna lie, it's a lot drier than Gordon's, but we've done it now. But on to the next step now. Now we've got to make uh, the shrimp. So now we've come to the shrimp. We have to season it with some pepper and salt. Put some salt, get it right in there. And then we put this in the pan. This is gonna be really quick. And I need to get the spaghetti. Oh no, it's doing it already. I thought the lemon was for the juice. Turns out he wants me to grate the zest, but I don't own a grater. So I might have to skip this step. Lesson learned here, make sure you have all the utensils for the recipe. I do not, so therefore I cannot. Now I have to check if it's done. Got a liners in. How am I gonna do this? Ah, I think it's done. Oh, you know the what? I can use the pasta water to add a bit more sauce. The meal has been cooked. Now it's time for plating. <laughs> and I have nowhere to plate it. We need to get rid of all this and I need to start plating it now. Huh? Oh. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Forgot. It's cheese. We'll put a little bit of this on. Not too much. We don't want to go crazy with it because. I do want to be able to eat it. Ooh, lovely stuff. Squeeze some lemon juice on top. Lovely. I hope that's it, because I'm done with it. <laughs> and I only had to do all of this. You can do it too in 10 minutes. <laughs> Ta da! This is what I've come up with. Was it worth all of this? I'm not sure. That was an overwhelming experience, and I'm generally quite tired from it. It wasn't the quick easy 10 minute step I thought it was gonna be but it is now time to eat you know what after all of that mess I really was expecting it to be bad like I was so sure this was gonna taste awful and I'm so surprised it actually tastes really good it's almost like Gordon Ramsay is a good chef and knows what he's talking about because if this was if this is like one tenth of what he made then his dish must be incredible because this actually tastes so good. I'm pleasantly surprised. I wasn't expecting it to go as well as it did. I would give this an 8 out of 10. I would give the cooking experience a 2 out of 10, but the end result, an 8 out of 10. I'm gonna go eat now, because I think I deserve that. That has been this video. I don't even know what this video is. I actually don't know. I'm gonna find out when I start editing the footage. That's gonna be fun. Merch link, pajama link, will be in the description box below. Definitely go check that out. As always, thank you so much for watching. I love you lots. Please know they matter, and I shall see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, bye.